active across the OSC area, the Parliamentary Assembly continued to promote parliamentary engagement on issues high on the international agenda in 2019. The PA deepened its relations with other OEC institutions and developed its partnerships with outside organizations. Georgian parliamentarian George Seretelli was re-elected president of the Assembly at the annual session in Luxembourg in July. That's our obligation of politicians from 57 countries to respond to the needs of our people. We know where our challenges, we know where our problems, we understand that, unfortunately, we don't have that miracle power to decide over those challenges in one day or in one night. It's an important burden, huge work. You have steadily, we have to steadily work for this to achieve even sometimes small results. Secretary General Roberto Montella was re-elected by the Standing Committee in Luxembourg for a second five-year term starting 1st January 2021. This assembly belongs to the political leadership. Uh, the International Secretariat is here at the service of that political leadership. President Saratelli and Secretary General Montella visited more than 20 countries throughout the OSC area, conducting timely bilateral diplomacy on matters of international concern. They met in Belgrade with President of the Grand National Assembly of Turkey, Mustafa Sentop, following Turkey's military incursion into northeastern Syria in October. Seretelli, Montella and OSC Secretary General Thomas Greminger also received Albanian President Ilir Meta on the sideline of the Spring Bureau meeting in Copenhagen, which Meta addressed in preparation for the Albanian OSC chairmanship. In May, Saretelli, Montella and several members of the OSCPA visited Norway to learn about challenges of the Arctic region. In Svalbard, one of the world's northernmost inhabited areas, the OSC parliamentarians explored environmental and security risks posed by climate change. Saretelli, Montella and French parliamentarian Pascal Alizar an OSCPA Vice President and Special Representative on Mediterranean Affairs, visited Egypt in November to strengthen Mediterranean cooperation. The PA held its 18th autumn meeting in Marrakesh, Morocco, the first time ever meeting in a Mediterranean partner state. Leaders of the OSCPA's Committee on Democracy, Human Rights and Humanitarian Questions undertook two fact-finding missions to Ukraine, emphasizing the urgent need for renewed conflict resolution efforts, freedom of movement for civilians and concrete humanitarian measures. The Assembly's special representatives focused on issues such as human trafficking, Mediterranean affairs, gender, antisemitism and racism, and Southeast Europe. President Seretelli appointed Toril Hedsheim from Norway to work on Arctic issues, Pia Kama from Finland to engage with civil society, Stefana Miladinovic from Serbia to work on digital issues, Luca Santolini from San Marino to work on disinformation and propaganda, and Irene Charalambides from Cyprus to fight corruption. Combating corruption is a matter of political will and we the parliamentarians must put pressure on the governments in order to um, adapt legislations that will uh, guide us to that direction. Culminating a year-long effort which built on the oversight functions of more than 20 national parliaments in the OSC region, in October the OSCPA's Ad Hoc Committee on Countering Terrorism, or CCT, published a report providing an overview of the main challenges faced at the national level to enhance border security and information exchange in line with the UN Security Council Resolution 2396. CCT members also conducted a fact-finding visit to Paris in February, meeting with government officials and experts for discussions on the policy implications of minors returning from conflict zones. No children should be left in camps like Al Hol in, in Syria. They should be brought back to Europe. And I think all my colleagues in all parliaments uh, in OSCE, uh, OSCE countries should encourage their uh, governments to work on this issue. But I think it is in our own best interest to, uh, to get these children back as soon as possible. Greek parliamentarian Makis Voridis, then chair of the CCT, actively contributed to the OSCE White Counter Terrorist Conference in Bratislava in March, 
and to the St. Petersburg International Parliamentary Conference on Counterterrorism in April, which featured the participation of 15 OSC parliamentarians. Leaders of the CCT also discussed OSCPA counterterrorism work with the UN Security Council Committee in New York in July. The return policies of Belgium and other EU member states were in focus during a Brussels visit in April by members of the PA's Ad Hoc Committee on Migration. The Ad Hoc Committee on Migration met on the margins of OSCPA meetings in Vienna, Luxembourg and Marrakesh, hearing presentations from representatives of the OSC ODIR, IOM, UNHCR and the Moroccan Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Meeting under the team Advancing Sustainable Development to Promote Security the Role of Parliaments, participants at the OSCPA's 28th Annual Session in Luxembourg explored ways to ensure that OSC participating states meet the UN's Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs. OSC parliamentarians also promoted sustainable development at an international conference hosted by the Swiss OSCPA delegation in Andermatt, Switzerland, in September. The conference's working sessions focused on issues such as infrastructure development, good governance and environmental sustainability. Nilsa de Sena from Portugal, chair of the OSCPA's Economic and Environmental Committee, addressed the SDG-focused OSC Security Days event in June, noting that parliamentarians are well positioned to both enact laws and communicate with constituents about the SDGs' importance. OSCPA election observers contributed their political experience, judgment and visibility to this essential OSC endeavor, working closely with the OSC ODIR and other international partners. The OSCPA deployed observers to six countries in 2019, Moldova, Ukraine, North Macedonia, Kazakhstan, Belarus and Uzbekistan.